Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Eddie and I'm the Director of Marketing here at HP Tuners. Today we're going to walk you through the entire process of upgrading the E41 ECM in your 2017 or newer Silverado or Sierra 6.6 liter with the new GM E41 ECM upgrade kit. If you've been around for a bit, you probably know about our existing L5P services. Upgrade, exchange, and purchase. Simply put, these services prepare the ECM to accept tunes using an HP Tuners interface and VCM Suite beta software. This is required for tuning the E41 controller found in 2017 and newer Chevy Silverados and GMC Sierras with the 6.6 liter Duramax due to advancing technologies from the OEMs. In addition to these three services, which are all still available, we are excited to offer you guys yet another option to get your truck ready for tuning with this new GM E41 ECM upgrade kit. This kit accomplishes the same outcome as our existing E41 services, which is a ready to tune ECM. But now you can upgrade your ECM in the convenience of your own garage or shop. So not only does this kit allow you to upgrade the ECM without sending it to HP Tuners for servicing, but you also don't have to remove the ECM from the vehicle and thus risk potentially breaking ECM's tabs. From start to finish, the upgrade process takes roughly 20 minutes and is super straightforward, which we'll go through in detail with you. But before we dive into the process, let's take a look at what comes with this kit. When you open the box, you'll see three components. The HPT net cable, which is this gray cable with the M8 connector on the end. The upgrade box, which is this black box with the HP Tuners logo front and center. And lastly, the upgrade cable, this braided black cable with the fuse plug. You'll also find a postcard with a QR code that links to the installation instructions. Assuming you're watching this video with your kit in hand, I'd suggest having those instructions close by so you can follow along. You can also find a link to the instructions in the description below. In addition to all these components I have here, you will need an MPVI 2 Plus with the Pro Feature Set software upgrade, or our latest MPVI 3 interface and the latest version of VCM Suite Beta, which you can download for free on our website. The MPVI and MPVI 2 generation devices are not compatible. Okay, let's get into the upgrade process. To begin, open the hood of the vehicle and locate the battery in the engine bay. You will find one of two batteries on the upper left side of the vehicle engine bay. Using a 10 mm wrench, disconnect the negative terminal. Once disconnected, locate the second battery in the lower right side of the vehicle engine bay. Using a 10 mm wrench, disconnect the negative terminal. Locate the underhood fuse box on the driver's side of the engine bay and remove the lid to access the fuses. Find and remove the ECM power fuse. Model years 2017 to 2019, this is a 15 amp ECM TCM fuse, or fuse number 57. For 2020 plus models, this is a 15 amp ECM only fuse, or fuse number 78. Please note, for 2020 plus models, there is an additional 30 amp ECM only fuse, or fuse number 86. This is not the correct fuse, and do not use it. Install the upgrade cable fuse plug into the fuse slot where you removed the original fuse in the previous step. For 2017 to 2019 models, the fuse to remove is a three-blade fuse. The kit comes with a two-blade plug. When installing the upgrade cable fuse plug, install the cable so that the blade with the red wire is in the middle slot of the fuse cavity, and the right wire is in the slot closest to the engine bay firewall. The third fuse slot should be empty. For 2020 to 2022 models, the blade with the red wire should be inserted in the slot closest to the engine. The blade with the right wire should be installed in the slot nearest to the driver's side front tire. Using a 10 mm wrench, reconnect the negative terminal to the vehicle's battery. Feed the wire attached to the upgrade cable fuse plug through the driver's side window and connect it to the upgrade box. Connect the gray cable to the upgrade box, then to the MPVI2 Plus or MPVI3 device. Then, connect the MPVI3 device into the vehicle's OBD2 port.
Once your MPVI device is connected to your computer, open up the VCM editor. If you haven't already, please download the latest beta software. Read your vehicle by going to the Flash menu and selecting Read Vehicle. If the cable is installed and the module has not been upgraded yet, you will receive a window with the following message. This model requires an upgrade before it can be tuned. This upgrade will be performed during the first write of this module. Please make sure to leave the unlock cable installed until the upgrade is complete. Note, if you do not receive this message and you are not provided with a stock file to tune the vehicle, check the cable installation. If you do not receive this message and are provided with a stock file to tune the vehicle, then the ECM is already upgraded. Please uninstall the cable and tune the vehicle as normal. If the upgrade cable is not installed, you receive the following window and the read will exit. The upgrade will take place during the first write of the module. You can make your initial changes prior to this write or you can perform the upgrade using the supplied stock file without any changes. With the upgrade cable still installed, license your vehicle. Confirm credit costs on your vehicle page at www.hbtuners.com backslash vehicles. And prepare to write the ECM by going to the flash menu and selecting Write Vehicle. Once the write begins, the VCM editor will perform the upgrade to the ECM first. This process takes roughly nine minutes. Once the upgrade is complete, you will receive a window with the following message. Upgrade completed successfully. VCM Suite will now perform a right entire on your module. Please do not disconnect the upgrade cable at this time. Click OK and the write will begin. After clicking OK on the previous window, VCM Editor will now perform a write entire of the currently loaded tune file to the ECM. Once this write finishes, you will receive the message, write complete. Please uninstall the upgrade cable and replace all removed fuses. Warning. Do not drive the vehicle with the upgrade cable installed in the vehicle. At this time, please uninstall the upgrade cable. To uninstall the upgrade kit, turn the key to the off position and disconnect the vehicle's batteries. Remove the upgrade cable's fuse plug from the fuse box and reinstall the fuse removed in step 2. Finally, reconnect the vehicle's batteries using a 10mm wrench. Once the upgrade cable is uninstalled, plug your MPVI2 Plus slash MPVI3 device directly into the vehicle's OBD2 port, and you are ready to tune the vehicle as you normally would. We hope this tutorial was helpful and answered any questions you may have had about the kit. The process is very simple, as you've learned, and roughly takes 20 minutes from start to finish. If you have any additional questions about this kit or the process, reach out to our support team using the link in the description box below. We also have plenty of information on our website, so make sure you check out that as well. Thanks for tuning in, good luck tuning, and see you in the next video.